Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. We are back again with another build series. Today we are going to be start working on an excavator for the new update. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, we're in the workbench here. Uh, we're going to start with the engine first because that's going to be the biggest part of this. So let's go ahead and go to our modular engines. Modular. All right, it's going to be a three by three. And again, you guys are probably going to get... Tell me I'm why is that not placing that? Come on. There we go. You guys are gonna say I'm doing overkill, but I, I like overkill. So we're gonna be doing a four cylinder here. Uh let's grab the cylinders, place those down. Whoops, wrong way. There we go. And there we go. So this is gonna be our engine for our excavator. And yeah, it's gonna hopefully power this thing and we'll be we'll be mining all kinds of things with it. Uh should be pretty efficient. Pretty beefy. Uh, let's figure out what we need next. Let's put our clutch here and we'll put our belt drive on the back here. I think that'll work a lot better. And then maybe we'll do like a back hatch access to open up that and look at that. And then maybe some, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Side hatches, things like that. Uh, where do we go from here? Let's see. We've got gearbox clutch. Let's go coolant. Coolant's going to be a big thing here. Uh, how do we want to do this? Let's go ahead and go to our radiators. Uh, I'm not going to mess around with anything. I'm just going to go straight five by five. Go ahead and try and place this on here. Where are we going? Let's place it say right there. Does that work? Is that going to work for maybe the fluid valves? Let's see. Go back to modular engines. Uh, we'll grab the coolant manifold. Uh, we need... Are uh, we going to do two, one on each side? Uh, can we do it like that? I don't know if we need to do it like that, but... Real quick, before I, I'm, I'm like, th I'm, I'm thinking about it, so I need to do this. Uh, if I don't do this, I'll forget. So let's connect all these together. Otherwise, we're going to have a problem later down, oops, later down the road. And then we'll go back to coolant. Okay. Back to coolant. Let's see. I need pumps. Maybe just pump. Singular. There we go. Okay, what is our A? Okay, we'll take mirror mode off. And that needs to go that way. Huh, what if we brought it down here? Ooh, that actually might work. So we'll put it there. And there. This one needs to turn around. Like so. So A goes that way. This is a B because the flow is going that way. Now how do we connect this? Now how do we connect all this? Make it look pretty. This is our A. This is our B. So this needs to get up to here. And then this needs to loop around. Okay, I got it. I got it figured out. Let's get some pipes. Go ahead and grab. Nope, we need some straight ones first. We'll go straight. Mirror mode. Do an angle. Get that going towards the inside there. And we'll connect all that together. There's our first loop there. That connects that to that. And then we'll come out of these guys here. Like so. And we'll cut back like so. And we'll finish off by connecting it up. There we go. Perfect. I think that looks good. Nice and clean. Uh, that should that should work for us nice. It frees up spaces on here. We don't have to have uh, pumps on that as well. And that should be good. That should be all we need to cool this system. Uh, if we need more, we have room to drop another 3x3 three three here and do some sort of liquid to liquid if we need to. But I don't think that would be a, a necessary. Let's go and grab our starters. Uh, we can put a couple starters on here. That'll be necessary. Uh, what else do we need here? Uh, a couple batteries maybe would be nice. Uh, or one big battery. We'll see how we go. We can put a couple batteries here maybe. Let's do that. Let's go. Since I'm talking about batteries, let's go ahead and grab batteries. Batteries. We can put uh, one, one there and one there. I think that'll be okay. Uh, that should be all right. Can I go up higher with them? Can I do that? I think that's better. All right. Uh, now, now I'm just being picky here. Hang on. Uh, we're going to do this. And then we'll get rid of that space and we'll free that up for a microcontroller or something like that. And that just looks a lot cleaner. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Okay. So now we need exhaust and fuel and air. Ooh, okay. Uh, fuel, exhaust, air. Uh, let's do exhaust. Let's go back to our mod. Uh, we'll do a straight pipe straight up and we'll go get our cats. Let's get our cats here. There we go. All right, straight up. There we go. We've got our exhaust. We've got 
coolant. Uh, we're gonna need some air and fuel. So we can put fuel down here. That's not a problem. Uh, fuel tanks could actually be up front here somewhere, I think. Uh, or do we sit fuel sit it on top of the fuel tanks? I think for the sake of this, we bring we'll bring the fuel forward here and put tanks there. Uh, we'll put it right next to the electricity. That sounds safe. Uh, so we'll do something like this. And of course, these will not place because the batteries can't place on the sides. Uh, here's how we'll do it. We'll uh, we'll cheat the system here. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll grab it, cut it, and we'll move it into place. And that should be okay. We'll just have to find something else to connect to. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, let's see, paste. Come over here. Hit you. Paste. Uh, how can we merge these together? Uh, somehow like this. Uh, we'll do that. And like that. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. Delete. And we'll delete all this. There we go. Tanks in. Uh, don't know if I planned that out. Let's see. Where do we want our fuel to go? Somewhere under here, I'm guessing. Back to mods, fuel, fuel manifold. Uh, can we get in line with that? We can't, but we can get close by doing like that. Let's grab curve piece, elbow. What do you want to call it? Elbow, an elbow. We'll do that. We'll put an elbow here. How in line are those? Those are in line, so perfect. So all we need is a straight piece. Grab that. Go like that, perfect. And uh, I think we should just probably connect all this together just for the sake of the way fuel is weird. Uh, so we'll do this. We'll get a, go back to pipes, do a T-piece, and we'll come straight across like that. So if one tank is full and the other one's not, this thing can still run efficiently. Uh, there we go. Uh, so we got fuel, exhaust, coolant. Uh, we need air now. Let's find somewhere for this air to go. We just put it right here on top. It seems like that might be the best way to just do it. Um, are we turbocharging it? It is a big machine. Maybe we should. So we did on the last one. Let's, uh, I guess, stay consistent with our engine builds for these projects. So let's find a spot for these to go. Let's rotate until they look nice. Okay, something like that. That looks pretty good. Can I plug that in over here? Side turbos, is that too, I don't know. Maybe when we use some of the space here in the center, uh, let's do that. Let's put something like that, something like that. And we'll maybe do something like that. Oh, wait, I gotta find the, the right way. Where, which way were they? That's not it. So many possibilities. There we go. That should do it. Okay, turbos, we'll bring air in. That'll look kind of cool right up on top here. Where do we go from here? Let's, I guess, fill in. Do we need to fill in that? I guess not. Uh, let's, uh, I don't know if I really dig the turbos there. We need to get to the air here. Maybe we move these guys back. Let's do that. Let's move these guys back one. And then we can move our turbos like right here. Somewhere like that, maybe? Come on. Just show me the way. Nope. 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 Come on. Which way? Oh, come on. Okay. That way. There we go. That's how we do it. Is that how we do it? Does that look all right on the side? I don't know. Ooh, we could double stack. We could double stack them. It might be more... Might be some more efficiency there. So let's do that. That looks kind of cool. We can run this down like that. And we'll do something like this into there. Is that necessary? Ooh, I could do that. That could look good. That could be all right. Some sort of bracket that holds the radiator down for some reason. So now we got to get down here to the air. Uh, let's find our air manifold. We've got that. Uh, which way do we want it to bend? Let's come back around this way with it. Okay, so we'll come up. We'll go ahead and cut back. This needs to go down. Uh, we'll connect up like this. Perfect, this, this lines up nice. And then a straight piece. All right, so there we go. Let's get some air ports on this. So uh, air, 
uh, air, air, air. Uh, I guess we can just go ahead and use the, the regular filters for now. Uh, we might end up changing these gas tanks here. You know, honestly, I don't know if I dig them. I don't dig them where they are, but it is what it is for now. That's kind of how I think f things are going to go just based on the shape of this engine and the shape of an excavator. I feel like we're on the right track here. Uh, let's get our orange and let's paint it up. We have everything. Let's uh, let's double check. We've got air, exhaust, coolant, fuel, starters. What are we missing? We're missing something. Clutch, microcontroller. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go grab our microcontroller real quick. All right, we got our microcontroller. Let's find a nice little spot for this to sit. I uh, usually put it under here, kind of like an oil pan, uh, but our fuel lines are in the way. Uh, I guess we could just put it maybe there. Does that work for now? That works for now, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and see. We need a key. We need a throttle. Let's grab those. We'll put our key down here. We'll get our throttle. Place it. Come on, place it down. And we need it. We got batteries. We got that. Okay, so let's start hooking some stuff up here. Uh, we'll go ahead and hook our batteries together. Where are they? Actually, no, I need a breaker. I need a breaker. Let's do that. Let's put our breaker there. Nope, upside down. There we go. Go back to that. Let's connect our batteries together. Battery to there and battery to there. And now we can connect everything up to that. Perfect. Oh, we're getting things done now. Okay, connect, 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 connect. Uh, let's go to our regular connection points. Let's go to our key. Our key needs to turn everything on. So pump, 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 fan, pump, fan, starters, starters, pump, everything. Everything gets it. Uh, let's see. Starter comes to starters. I accidentally hooked those up the wrong spot. Fuel manifolds go to fuel manifolds. Nope, that's, yep, those are right. Fuel manifolds. What else do we have? Tank contents, nope, battery charge, crankshaft RPS. There we go, crankshaft RPS. What else are we looking at here? Clutch pressure, no. Hang on, let's get where I can see the points on here a little better. All right, so air manifolds, those are where? Is that air, air, air? What do we have here? Throttle, okay, throttle goes to there. What is this? Water pump, clutch, things like that. Um, we didn't have any of that. We don't have any uh, alternators on it. Uh, maybe we can cram some alternators on this real quick. Mods, couple alternators on the side, give us some power. Why not? Uh, we'll do it like that, like that. Let's connect that up to those. Connect, 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 connect. Those need to have power and go straight to a battery. We'll go straight to that breaker. Okay, that's done. And I believe that should be everything we need to get this engine running. Nope, uh, composite, 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 composite. Composite data, cylinder, there we go. Okay, so let's get a nice little paint job on this. We'll go find our nice little orange here. We'll paint it. Get it going. Look at that. Boom. Orange. Uh, we don't need everything to be orange uh, like last time. So we'll take the brush. We'll paint that. Paint that. Paint all of that. Paint all of that. Just the nice, the nice things here on the uh, the engines. There we go. Uh, we'll paint that in there like that. I think that looks pretty pretty snazzy. Uh, let's get out there and let's crank this thing up and see what it does. All right. Power. E nothing all right back to the workbench so what didn't i do okay that's cooked that's hooked up um that's hooked up starters on off i'm confused everything's hooked up oh my god so okay so it's cranking 
all I did was go in and replace the starters. This game is so buggy sometimes. I've been sitting here for probably 30 minutes trying to diagnose why this thing will not start. And that's that's literally what it is. It's these two starters. They were buggy, so I just I deleted them, replaced them, and the engine is running now. Uh, quietly, but it is running. So there you go, guys. Uh, that is going to be our engine for our excavator. I hope you've enjoyed this video so far. If you are enjoying this, these video series, make sure you throw a like on this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And yeah, we are going to be continuing on with this as well as classic career series. So make sure you stay tuned.